Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Matthew 13, verse 16. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, and if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. The sum total Greek letter value of Revelation chapter 20, 21, and 22 is 838,656. A number that breaks down into 26 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 3 times 7 times 3. In Greek, Esus has a Greek sum total letter value of 888. In John 1 verse 1, Jesus is the Word. Logos, sum total Greek letter value is 373. The Hebrew gematria of the Old Testament and the Greek letter values of the New Testament are exact, precise, and the overall values of the chapters and verses and the overall Bible have to be exactly as they were written in the beginning. Even one letter difference will change everything. This is why the penalties are so strict on changing the Word of God. Hebrew scriptures translated into Greek. The Tetragrammaton was translated as Kyrios, Lord, in Greek. The Tetragrammaton, the four letters, thought to be unpronounceable. The reality is, the Romans who had the Jews captured were able to forbid the use of the name so they couldn't pronounce it. When the Tetragrammaton is translated in the Bible is always either referred to as Adonai, which means Lord, or Hashem, the name in Hebrew. The consonants, the four consonants, were utilized with the vowels of Adonai to create the name Yahweh. And uh, it was not ever in the Bible that Yahweh or Jehovah, that does not appear in the Bible, that is man-made names, which is very dangerous to make up the name of God. It is a perversion to add English vowels, even if they do represent Adonai, uh, it's not in the Bible even one time to do such a thing. And uh, the only reason they couldn't pronounce the name was because the Romans forbid it and they were captives. The Lord commands us to know His name. Yah means to exist. Love. Ahava. Yah. Ava. The Tetragrammaton has a Hebrew gematria, some total letter value of 26. Yud, He, Va, He in Hebrew. The Tetragrammaton occurs 6,800 times in the Old Testament. To Jews, the Tetragrammaton is unpronounceable. When they come to this word, they either say Adonai or Hashem, the name. The pronunciation of the Tetragrammaton was unpronounceable. The Lord, Yahweh, Jesus, Jesus, the word, Logos. That confirms the original text of the Holy Bible. The only way to God is through Jesus. The Bible says there is only one name in which you must be saved. Given among men, and that name is Jesus. 
There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved. The holy name of Jesus. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is the Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. In Romans 10, 9, the clearest passage in the Bible about your salvation. Whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Romans 10.13, Joel 2.32